Hello YouTube, this Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real Hard Sickers Aquatic Kennels. In this video, I want to follow up on the topic of venting from my previous video by discussing what someone told me from watching that video about the Oscar cichlids. Now, some of you may or may not know that Oscar cichlids can be difficult to vent. So most people don't even try with this species. For the most part, they just hope and pray that they get a male or female. Now, I have to be honest with you. Most techniques that people use to sex Oscars are really flawed. Some people usually start by purchasing two Oscars, one bigger than the other, in hopes that the bigger one is a male and the smaller one is a female. Now, sometimes that works to your favor. Like, for example, if you go to a local pet store and purchase a couple of Oscars out of aquarium, but the person that purchased Oscars before you got the largest one, then you will find yourself with either two females or two males. In most cases. Another technique some people use when trying to sex Oscars is to check and see whether or not the dorsal fin overlaps the tail fin. And I'm telling you people, that is just not good enough. Because some females, dorsal fin sort of overlaps the tail fin as well. Plus, the size and age come into play when you use this method. That's why, in my opinion, venting is the best method of sexing cichlids, especially Oscar cichlids. Now, I had someone on my Facebook page tell me that Oscar sexual organs or vent area was different from most other cichlids. It was like the male and female was in reverse. So I told that person I would do research and I did just that. And I will tell you what I discovered in a moment. But before we do that, I would like for you to direct your attention to the description area below this video where you will find links to purchase books and other Real Hot Cichlids merchandise. In addition, there are links to my Amazon affiliate products list where you can click directly to order from Amazon. Now I want you guys to hear me out because this is very important for the future of this channel. In order for me to qualify for Amazon affiliate, I need for you guys to make purchases through these links. Now it doesn't matter if what you purchase isn't what you click the link for. All that matters is you make some type of purchase so that I can qualify. This is important because right now I don't really have time to make videos on a consistent base or ship fish out due to my busy work schedule. But if I'm able to supplement income from these links, it may give me what I need to free up time for publishing videos and shipping fish. So I say this with the greatest of importance. Support who support you. Moving on to the video topic. So I got this message from a follower on Facebook stating that Oscar cichlids organs are different from most other cichlids. He said that male and female organs was the opposite of what you normally see in other cichlid species. So I responded by stating that I would do research on what he claimed. And when searching the web, I discovered some pretty misleading info on this topic. There are some misleading photos and graphics on the World Wide Web like these that will lead you to believe exactly what that person told me on Facebook. But is that the truth? No. In my opinion, these photos were just misinterpreted or the person who created the photos just didn't quite understand the anatomy of the cichlids because the anus is in front of the sexual organs, like this photo here. This is why I've always stated that you cannot just rely on the internet for research. You have to go further than the internet. And even when you're on the internet, you have to look up multiple internet sources in order to get the correct information or what we call the fish facts here 
on Fish Law One YouTube channel. This is why documentation beats conversation all day long. And with that said, this skip, I'm out.